Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hello traders, nice to be back after a couple of weeks uh, vacation. I hope you all guys had uh, amazing holidays and uh, yeah now i think the market will start move uh, a little bit more once again since i left uh, for vacation i came back for making the video today and i'm seeing that not much has happened since uh, like three weeks ago checking the euro here we see that we're still inside this range guys uh, since november as you see here not much is happening we're still inside this range all we've got so far is a couple of higher lows here so uh, the, the the bears are not able to push the price all the way back to the bottom of the range this is um, this could be a sign that there is some efforts trying to uh, break out to the upside here on the euro and i think that is very possible but uh not to guess what the market would do is always a good thing just follow the chart so as i said uh, the highs are uh, the lows are getting a little bit higher they are not able to push all the way down as you see here uh, but to be more sure about mm, potential reversal here to the upside the best would be to wait for a break out of this range look for retest look for continuation as you see here on the four hour uh, the price is hugging the 200 moving average all the time trying to playing around it once again they broke above it used it at as support and it pushed a little bit further uh, up to the upside uh, last friday but all in all um, we still need that break to the upside and as you know uh, holidays trading there is not much liquidity but from next week on i think uh, the, the market will be back in action uh, very soon sterling uh, checking the daily time frame on the sterling is looking much better than the euro this one is at least moving and they're making some uh, continuation moves to the upside it is trending but it did reach a level of interest as you may know here we've been talking about this couple of levels we have this level here we've had this level here this now is broken this latest area here that got broken we've got a break above this area we've got a retest then we see in the market testing yet another level of interest here for more upside they surely need to break above this and if they do the next target gonna be 1.3 three seven four eight uh, four zero so at around the 200 moving average area here on the daily checking the four hour time frame you see that we have the break here we had the retest yet another attempt they failed to break higher last friday so as for now we could play this little range this might end up to be a new range here for a little bit uh, of time maybe and as i said if you see a break above this you might look for continuation for the uh, uh, to the upside otherwise if they break to the downside then there is potential move back down toward this old level that got broken now you have these all these uh, swings here but i don't think they are as important as this level here so if they break to the downside the target going to be at around this area 1.3350 is uh, the target for that but as for now as you see the trend is looking good on this reversal uh, it might continue higher but again we have this very important area to be broken to, for this market to continue higher if that would be the case usd jp did a nice break to the upside and up the week uh, getting rejected back down though so there was no break and close above this on the weekly but all in all if you see this they we have a break two weeks close above this key area here as you know this uh, one uh, 14.50 was a 
pretty important level. The market um, had struggled to break above this level since uh, May 2017. So uh, we have a couple of weeks now with a close above this, which means it is a strong signal that we might see continuation. Now we've got a three days correction here. Uh, we might see further downside. As for now, it is retesting this, uh, the last level that got broken here, as you see. This uh, might be a retest and then a continuation but in my opinion the best would be a retest back down the to the 114.50 to then look for continuation so that will give us a little bit further down on the rsi as well that would be much better in my opinion we will see what will happen next week as for now they did break below this area after making a couple of lower highs and this and triangle got broken the bottom here so any retest here and failure to break higher i am looking for a continuation to the downside as first next week to then start looking for a continuation higher at around the 114.50 uh, area as i said earlier Aussie USD, uh, well, here not much has uh, changed. We're still inside uh, this little uh, area here, or it's not so little, but still, we we did not uh, break out above this level. We've got a couple of um, attempt to break higher here to then fail and then move back down. So, um, yeah, as you see, the level down here is a level of interest. Up here is another level of interest. That what we should be watching short term. You could play around here now and uh, as you see here we've got a failure of a new high then a break below this uh, neckline to then see the market pushing back up. I think we might see further downside here toward this area before yet another bounce. As for now, the level of interest is down here and up here. The, those are the really important edges that you might play bounce around. USD CAD, um, this one um, looking weak for now. We had a lower high here, yet another lower high here on the daily, still sitting at this key support level. It is really, really dangerous here because any break below this area will open um, a, a strong move to the downside. We'll open the door for the for the bears to keep pushing lower. Checking the four hour time frame, you see that since they broke below the 200 moving average they failed here they failed here they did an attempt here it looks like they managed to break above it to then see them moving back down and then last week they did break the neckline and right now sitting at this key support so again since this is failing to break above the uh, the 200 moving average this is not looking good the bearish momentum is still very very strong but they need to break below this area if they do so then we could we could look for a, a retest and then continuation so it would look something like this uh, a break below retest and then continuation to the downside if that break to the downside happened as for now the price is sitting at, at a potential support so be careful because uh, do not sell it before a break because it might rebound back up toward the top of this range this might end up to be a new range here short term as well usd chief uh, a pretty boring chart still going and bouncing around here it did uh, reach the top here a couple of times to then bounce back again and here once again so it is playing around uh, i would keep an eye at this bottom here as a potential area of interest for another bounce um, or at the top edge anything in between here this area here is very dangerous to play because as you see here it is very choppy especially if we go to the four hour time frame you see how choppy it might be so it, the best would be to play the edges of the range only wait for those levels to be in play before uh, taking a trade otherwise you you will end up going inside uh, such a very choppy scenario so not the best chart to, to watch gold also uh, not much happened uh, since i left uh, 
uh, <laughs> trading for vacation so as you see here uh, we're still inside this range uh, this here been tested many times as resistance so we will keep using this as a potential uh, resistance and this down here is our support level so um, as for now the market is trading in between this and we should just keep playing that um, until we have a break out of this range going down to the four hour time frame you see that there was a failure here yet another failure to then break below and there is potential continuation to the downside the best would be to wait down here or wait up here sell high buy low wait for a break to the upside or a break to the downside to then look for a continuation toward this area anything in between is very uh, choppy and dangerous in my opinion and oil nice break to the upside uh, did break back above 77 here this was a key area so after this strong move to the downside we've got yeah one bounce a higher low a higher high yet another higher low and another higher high so for next week i would say 77 area gonna be a key level to watch if we got a retest of that because that might be the level of interest for the bulls to push back up if they manage to break below it then of course 73 once again gonna be in play because it been also tested many many times as uh, both support and resistance and at that same area we have the 200 moving average on the four hour this will surely move a little bit higher until the price catch back down if they break below 70 uh, uh, 77 area but as for now i would uh, watch 77 as a potential level of interest for the bulls uh, to uh, play at as a potential bounce to the upside and um, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot and uh, we're back on track so see you next sunday bye bye